Hello guys, uh, welcome to feeding.net. So in this particular session, we are going to talk about encryption and decryption in C sharp. So without wasting time, let's start the session. So for my demo, uh, I have already written the code just to uh, save the time. So here I have created a variable that is uh, original text and here I am passing hello world. So this is the text which we are going to encrypt and and after that we are also going to decrypt as well. So what is encryption and decryption? So encryption is the process as I have already written. It's a process to transform a uh, plain text. So this is the plain text hello world uh, which is unencrypted uh, data plain text into keeper text. Keeper text is nothing but the, but the encrypted data and this process is called the encryption process and same for the decryption. Uh, for the decryption uh, process using we will take that encrypted uh, data and we convert back that data to plain text that is the original text and for that process we need a key so the same key is used to convert a plain text into a uh, keeper text and that same key will be used to convert again the keeper text to a uh, plain text so here uh, in .NET Core uh, 6.0 version, I have used their library system.security.cryptography and at the start we need uh, the byte array of a uh, key. So here uh, I have generated a key. So for generating the key, I am uh, using a random uh, method. What this method is doing, you are just passing the length like uh, how much length of uh, I mean byte array you need and it will uh, use the c -sharp class random number generator and it will generate a number and it will convert those uh, numbers into their respective byte array. So here we are getting a random uh, byte array for the key. Key as I told we need key to convert plain text into encrypted uh, data. Now here we have also using one more thing that is the IV. So IV it's nothing but it's basically a random value. So IV also we are generating using the same uh, method but why we need this? Suppose two person uh, trying to uh, encrypt the same uh, uh, original text. Like I am also trying to convert hello world into some encrypted data and you are also trying to convert and if we both have the same key then in that case uh, keeper text will be same suppose this is the hello world i am a person p1 so suppose after encryption it will become a a a b b b b and if we are using the same key if we both are using the same key so if p2 is also trying to convert this hello world and if you are using the same key so then that result will be the same so to differentiate both uh, result we need and uh, IV uh, it is also kind of a key but it's just a, a, a basically a random key. So here I have uh, written it is a random value used for encryption process. Uh, it is handles a case where multiple identical plain text is getting encrypted. Okay, so that uh, plain text with same key produce different keeper text. Okay, so that's done now. I, ha I, ha I have passed uh, that uh, original text to a method called encrypt and I have passed the byte array key and byte array IV. So here this is the method. What it is doing? He is uh, using the AES class of uh, .NET Core which is called advanced encryption standard. So this is provided by .NET Core and you have called its create method and there you uh, used a method of interface i crypto transform there you passed the key uh, which is the byte array that we got in this method and you pass the iv so here you can see iv is nothing but the initialization vector that is used for the symmetric uh, algorithm then you pass the key you pass the iv now uh, you create the memory stream object then you create the crypto stream object uh, there you pass the memory strip uh, memory stream and then you pass the uh, i i crypto object there 
and you ask you tell them okay it's a write operation now you create an object of stream writer there you passed your plain text that is hello world and what it does it encrypt your uh, hello world into some uh, a keeper text like uh, it convert into like something like that and then we uh, convert that into the base 60 form uh, base 60 form string which is nothing but an array of 8 bit unsigned integer that is equivalent to string uh, representation so we did it and it re returns the keeper text so this method will return the keeper text now we have the keeper text here and then what we want like uh, from this hello world we created the keeper text like this and then again uh, we want to decrypt it we, we will pass this and we will pass the key and it will again become the hello world so this is called the decrypt uh, method so that is the decrypt method again we pass the encrypted text that is this and then key and iv so almost everything remains same so at first step what we does the encrypted test we get the byte array of that using the from base 64 uh, method then against all those same object and then what we did we call uh, stream writer read to end uh, method basically to decrypt and here we pass the key we iv same memory string crypto again the same here we we gave is the read read operation uh, not the write so i mean that is done uh if you can s let's run this program for you so what so okay let's just run it right away so this is the hello world uh what it create it create uh the key see six uh, byte array that is the key and that is the random mm, iv now uh, we went to the encrypted method see what it is doing it is setting the keys it uh, called the crypto encryptor and it is using some algorithm and now if we try to write it let's check here okay everything seems good now if we return see it returns the encrypted form of hello world so this is the encrypted form of hello world now what we want we want to convert uh, this back to hello world so that is the decrypt now we went to decrypt we convert that encrypted text into the byte array because that is what uh, required by memory stream now again same crypt decrypt uh, method uh, previously i think it was encrypted right so just opposite of that instead of write we need read and here also it returns you the decrypt so see it's a hello world so if you go to the encrypted text is this and decrypt is this and we know that original text is this so guys i hope you liked my video so if you like it uh, then please subscribe uh, to my channel